Welcome to State Tech. Let's take a look at how to edit live photos on your iPhone 10. Now to ensure that you're taking live photos, you're gonna first open up your camera app, and the second icon in the top left hand corner is actually the live photos icon. Currently you can tell that I have it on because it's yellow. If you did not have it on, you see a strike through and the icon is white, and it also says live is off. So make sure that that is on, and what a live photo will do is record a few seconds of video before and after you snap the photo, as well as record a little bit of audio to include in the background. Now if we come into our photos app, you'll notice that a photo is a live photo represented by the live kind of tag in the top left hand corner of the photo. If you don't happen to be in that view and your screen is more black, just giving you the full screen resolution of the image, whenever you swipe through an image, you'll notice a little bit of motion that'll play before you actually view the still image that was captured. So as I swipe through, you see there's a little bit of motion, and that lets me know that that's a live photo without actually having to see that live photo tag in the top left hand corner. And notice that a live photo can also include an HDR image as well, so this one happens to be live and HDR. Now if we wanted to watch the live photo, all we have to do is 3D touch on the screen, you'll feel a little bit of vibration feedback, and the photo will begin playing, and you'll hear both the audio as well as see the motion. Now let's say that while the actual image is playing, we happen to notice that there's a more perfect frame to capture instead of the one that we actually got. What we're going to do is tap on the edit button in the top right hand corner. You'll notice we get this little keyframe indicator down at the bottom of the screen and I can swipe through and now we replace the actual still image with another one that I wanted to choose. So saying in this example, I actually wanted to get him where his face is a little bit more up. I can actually swipe through and so now his face is positioned a little bit more up instead of on his hand. And now I have the option to make that the key photo. So if I tap on make key photo, you see that the actual kind of white indicator is now on that keyframe instead of the one that it shows where I actually hit the shutter button on the camera. Now if I wanted to save this, all I have to do is tap done and it's going to save that as my new still image in my camera roll. And then I can also still watch the live photo and also view the audio that goes along with it, but this will be the keyframe that I see whenever I view the photo. If you didn't want that to happen, you can also tap cancel and it's going to discard your changes. What's also cool is you can actually disable the audio in the top left hand corner, so that will disable the audio from being played with a live photo, or you can just actually disable this from being a live photo at all, just by tapping on live. Now it's gone off, and you see all the keyframes are now no longer selectable, and tap done, and this photo is no longer a live photo, and it will discard all that information. What's also cool with live photos is that when we're in this view, if we swipe up on a live photo, we have some effects that we can apply. We can actually loop it. So this will turn the photo into a loop, and you're gonna see that it's gonna kinda of loop back and forth with what it's actually captured in the live photo. Swipe up, we can create a bounce, which this will do is it'll play all the way through and then kinda of reverse effect it. So you see it kinda of bounces back and forth between forwards and backwards. Another one that's also kind of cool and can also kind of be spooky at times when you're taking photos of actual people is a long exposure. So this one's going to take every keyframe that was captured and try and create a long exposure, giving you kind of this ghosting effect that you see on people, but also on some other photos it could give you some nice sharpness added to a photo. If it was just more of a still image, say a landscape or something like that, you can actually have that create a nice image. But this one's kind of funny just because my son was moving his head and so it kind of gives me a ghosting effect as he kind of moves. Notice the hands are kind of in motion and they're a little bit sharper, but his face is kind of really, really blurry just because he was in motion and while doing it. What's nice is that any one of these actual effects, we can always come back and just turn it back into a live photo. But what you might have noticed is that whenever I choose an effect, it changes the tag up in the top left hand corner. So it no longer says live photo, it now says long exposure in HDR because this is an HDR image, but the long exposure is now selected instead of live photo. So now if I choose live photo, the tag live will show back up. And if I choose any one of the other effects such as bounce, they no longer will say live and now says bounce. So that is how you edit and apply effects to your live photos on your iPhone 10. If you found this video useful, be sure and give it a thumbs up. For more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to State of Tech, and we'll see you in the next one.